Welcome to the Iowa State University Microbiology Program. We are housed in the Science One building on campus, and welcome to our laboratory tour. Hello, welcome to our tour. We are recording this on campus February 2021, and one of the rules on campus for biosafety with the COVID virus is that we wear face coverings at all times. So the entire video today will be filmed with people with face coverings, so hopefully you can understand us. And we also wear face shields in the laboratory space to be safe for containment because sometimes we have to work closer than the six foot mitigation rule. Hello, I am Claudia lemper Manal, one of the teaching faculty in the microbiology program here at Iowa State University. We are excited for you to just have a quick tour of our microbiology lab. We'll see a little bit about what it's like to have a class here as well as some of the students as they are working. My background is as a microbiologist here and received my bachelor's degree. Went on to graduate school at the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana in molecular biology and then went to work for a pharmaceutical company. I came back to Iowa State to teach in genetics as well as microbiology. One of the things that you're going to find about microbiology as a career choice, there are so many avenues. You can go into research, you can go into the medical field, the veterinary field, biofuels, food, animal science. You can even go into space exploration. We have so many areas. Microbes are a part of everything that happens in our energy, our food sources, as well as health and just our ecosystem. So microbiology is a great choice. Hopefully you enjoy our lab tour and get to meet some of our students as well as our graduate students and learning assistant. I'm Crystal Brillhart. I am a teaching professor of microbiology here at ISU. And I um, got into microbiology because I always really like science. I always love studying infectious diseases. I thought it was really interesting. I like how microbiology is very linear. You have things in front of you and you can... I love how with microbiology, you can work with everything in the lab. And I've always had fun doing things in the lab and being able to see your results is really exciting. And I love teaching. I think it's, I, we work with a really great group of students here at ISU who are really passionate about science and about learning. And it's just a lot of fun. Biologists, I've actually worked at a number of different jobs. I started working at the State Public Health Laboratory, working with human samples, uh, different diseases, uh, bacteria that cause different diseases with human samples. I have also worked at the USDA, the National Veterinary Services Laboratory there, working uh, with bacteria that cause diseases in animals. And I also worked for a while with an industry job that was looking at making new disinfectants. And so they needed to test their disinfectants on microbes and see whether they actually killed the microbes or not. So there are lots of variations in different types of jobs. There's lots of opportunities available for people with microbiology degrees. I'm Marissa. Um, I am a second year graduate student in the interdepartmental microbiology program and I am also the teaching assistant for Micro 302 lab this semester. Um, I was an undergrad microbiology major at Iowa State as well. Um, I joined the microbiology program after taking 302 lab as part of my genetics major because I thought it was so much fun. Um, I really enjoyed working with all the different organisms. Um, my research focuses on the microbes that grow on the roots of plants and how those microbes interact with each other, um, how their genetics or things that they're secreting or the environment might impact those um, interactions. I decided to join microbiology after taking um, Micro 302 Lab. Um, I thought that working with all the different microbes was really interesting. I enjoyed um, doing culture work a lot. And there are just so many things that microbes can do that I've always been amazed by. All the different microbes in the environment that can live in really tough circumstances and the fact that there are just microbes growing on every surface of the earth is what I thought was most interesting and why I wanted to join microbiology and study the organisms that are beneficial to um, plants and humans and other things. Um, so the job that I eventually want to get um, once I'm done with my degree is I want to become a microbiology professor. So I'd like to teach um, potentially in like a teaching lab, 
um, and then lecture as well and do research in microbiology. Um, there are a lot of other things that you can do as well, such as um, food safety or working at a hospital and doing all of the culture work um, from patient samples. Or I know there's a lot of people that go into things like water quality or working in um, uh, industry research labs and all sorts of different things. There's so many different options in microbiology um, for things that you can do. Okay, well welcome to the microbiology labs. One of the first things that you're gonna come to is when you come into our building, all of the students have to put their coats and everything into our lockers. And that is so that they have biosafety. And here's our teaching lab. And you can see all of the doors, all of our safety would be posted um, based on the biohazards that you might encounter in the teaching lab. And so here's just some students working. This is Microbiology 302 lab. And they are mostly micro majors, maybe animal science, genetics, um, some biology, and they are having a results day. So typically when they would come in, the first thing they'll do is wash their hands. And this is all for biosafety, not they are dressed in full PPE. Um, this video is taken during the pandemic, COVID. So they are wearing additional PPE, but normally they will have on lab coats, their gloves, goggles, and things for biosafety. They'll always have closed-toed shoes. It's cold today, so of course they will. But they have their stations, equipment, and you can see here some of the test bacteria that they're working on. They also are looking at growth based on some environmental factors, including pH, temperature, salt, and they have that. So right now, normally we'd have twice as many students in this lab, but because of social distancing, they are spread out. Another great thing about our microbiology program is we do have learning assistants. So Rachel, you want to wave at us? <laughs> Rachel's one of our micro majors and she's taken the course before. And what's really nice is that they come back and help with grading, answering questions, and just are involved in the lab experience. One of the things we have to be really careful about in the lab is biosafety. So wearing gloves have to be disposed in a particular place or anything that has touched a biohazard. So they learn a little bit about that as well as just where all of the particular waste would go. My name is Rachel. I'm a sophomore in microbiology. I chose microbiology because I really loved biology in high school and microbiology is just biology but smaller. It's really interesting to me and I'm in a micro lab right now. I'm actually in LA though this semester because I was in this class last semester and I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to be a part of this lab again. So yeah. My name is Olivia Babcock. I'm from Ankeny, Iowa and I'm a sophomore in biosystems engineering and I'm in this microbiology class because I thought it was interesting and it's also required for my major. And I've always just found science interesting. I thought Iowa State was a great place to pursue science. Hi, I'm Ana Hernandez. I'm from Marshalltown, Iowa. I'm a junior majoring in biology and I'm on a pre-PA track. Um, I chose Iowa State because I love science and I've always wanted to go into the medical field and this is a great place to complete my undergraduate requirements and set me up for success in graduate school.